Hey guys, this is Jelly Time and I'm doing a tutorial on this look right here. If you want to know how to get it, then please keep watching. Bye. So first off, I'm going to start by priming my eyes. I'm using the Urban Decay Eye Primer. Okay, and then I'm going to start off with my transition color, Hinky Pinky from ColourPop. It looks like this. And I'm going to put that all in the crease area. And I keep getting on focus because of the nail polish right back there. Nope. I'm going to start off with a um, fluffy brush. It's another fluffy brush, but it's more stiff. And I'm going to take the color right here, Unbrighted, from the same palette. Unbrittled. Sorry. A Morphe MB23 brush just to blend it out. Okay, I'm gonna go back with the same dark color and build it up more. It's gonna blend out and fade once we put the lid color on. Brown brush, blend it out. Even more. Now I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Pencil and Black Bean. And I'm going to put that all over my lid. And with that same brush that you used, um, the darker color Umbrella right here on the outer corner, you're going to grab a little bit of product and blend the top part out. Then I'm going to take, actually I'm going to wet my brush with Makeup Forever Mix and Fix. Just a little bit of sprays. And I'm going to grab the color Unreal from the palette. It's like a pinkish gold color. And I'm going to put that all over my lid. That same brush that you put the darker color on, just blend it out. Blend out your bottom color. Hold your brush at an angle facing downward so you don't lose the color on the bottom and you just want to blend out where the crease is. Okay, I'm going to go finish my other eye and then we'll start with the face. Okay, so now I got both eyes done and we're going to go ahead and move on to the face. So I'm going to prime with the NYX Angel Veil. going to use two of the Lorac pore foundations and I'm just gonna put them on my hand Morphe B6 brush And then from there, I'm going to take a damp beauty blender and just damp it out for it to pick up any excess, 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 excess product. I didn't really put a lot, but I still like to do this to make it look even more natural. I'm going to take the Naked Skin Concealer. And the color light warm and I just make it like a half circle right there underneath 
because it's not gonna cover all of this down here and it's just gonna look like you made a circle. Does that make sense? Real Technique brush. It's the Deluxe Crease brush, but I'm gonna use it for in here because it fits perfectly. And now to set my concealer underneath my eyes, I'm going to use the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. And I'm going to use Igric and Levitation, a BH Cosmetics brush. And I'm going to dab on the product. You don't want to smear it because then it'll smear the, it'll move the foundation underneath. going to use the color shadow play it's the middle 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 color and I am going to use the BH cosmetics contour blush brush My Morphe brushes, blushes, and I'm going to take color I want. a little bit of this color. I don't have a name on the back of it, but this color right here. I'm gonna apply that to my cheeks with another BH Cosmetics. Uh, this is a blush brush or powder brush. We're gonna go back to the Balm Mary Luminizer and highlight. Cause we gotta keep our highlight on fleek. Okay, so I applied some falsies and mascara on the bottom lash line. We're gonna go ahead and do um, the waterline. And I'm gonna add the Lorac Front of the Line Pro eyeliner and nude. I'm going to take Jordana Easy Liner for Lips and Rock and Rose. Here's the color. A dose of colors in the color stone. I'm going to take the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the color black. A little bit of setting spray. I'm going to use my Makeup Forever. Let that dry. And that's it.